It's me, AMC me, and we're back with episode four of Marry My Husband. And this episode, y'all, it's this episode is good. Okay, so episode three ended with G1 getting a love con well, I don't want to say it's a love confession, but a confession from her high school crush telling her he had a crush on her and she is flabbergasted she doesn't know what to say she's just like looking at him like uh and all of a sudden her phone rings it's ji hyuk and he's asking her hey can you come in to work and she's like sure and she looks at the time and she's like I can be there in 30 minutes and he's like okay and she hangs up and she's like well um I gotta go <laughs> so he gave her like the perfect out because there's, there's like a lot of emotions going on right now in this and so I appreciate that he gave her an opportunity to escape because I, uh, I, be if I was her, my emotions would be on high, especially as a reserved person and coming in to that reunion like she did, like such a badass and like directing all of the energy um, at her and using it to finally put Suman in her place. I know she's feeling like overwhelmed and she needs to like get away. So I appreciate him giving her that uh, opening. And she tells him, she's like, hey, I have to go. And he's like, okay, I understand. But can I get your phone number? So they do exchange numbers. And then she goes to hop in a taxi. Um, but that part right there. Those three. And I'm talking about Ji Hyuk, Ji Won, and uh, Baek Ing Ho. They're all so awkward. It's adorable. Like, it's adorable. It's so cute. Um, it's like they're, well, at least for those two, it's like they're back in high school again. And I was like, with that, especially that part, when he's trying to confess his feelings, I was like, oh, oh. That never happened to me in high school, though. But... <laughs> I feel like that's what it would be like. So she hops in a taxi to go meet Ji Hyuk. After she leaves, uh, In Ho sees Ji Hyuk like out in the cut watching them. And he's like, like, oh, do you got feelings for her too? Are we going to have beef? And I was like, are the rivals like are they throwing down the gauntlet right now before we even know what's going on but anyways uh jiwon meets ji hyuk at uh, a hotel where they're doing a showcase for um online marketing investments and he just brought her so she could be support he just wants somebody there to help with convincing somebody um, higher up in the company that is has an aversion to doing online marketing. And we know, this was 2013. We know how popular online marketing is. I mean, look at Timu. Their asses are everywhere. She's like, okay. And when she sees the platform, she is, she's just shook. Because she's like, oh. In the future, this is going to be a very huge company. I kind of, I think it's kind of like YouTube. She's like, she's amazed that she gets to be on the forefront of seeing this company when it's still in its um, infancy of being created and looking for backing. And he's like, he's like, I think I have a really good feeling about this. Uh, company and she's like oh yes I agree and she knows it's a good investment while he's telling her this they run into 
the guy that they need to convince. And he is very disgusting. Uh, we do find out, Jiwon mentioned uh, in the second episode, is the second or first episode, I can't remember, but she does mention that uh, crappy boss, he knows somebody at the company high up, and it's this guy. And they have that same misogynistic view on women. And when he sees Jiwon, he throws this paper that he's holding and tries to shake her hand and Ji Hyuk intercepts the handshake and while he's shaking Ji Hyuk's hand he's looking at Ji Won and he's like oh you got a good eye to Ji Hyuk and he's like and they're both like he's like yeah you know that everybody likes working with pretty women it makes working a lot easier Jiwon, who had just got done, like, introducing herself to him, she, her smile slowly starts to fade from her face. And he's like, yeah, I'm sorry. This is not going to be a very fun work trip for you. And she's she laughs like, yeah. But she, from past, from the past, she remembers that this guy is kind of a, a jerk. Uh, he got recorded hitting a stewardess on a flight like hitting them in the head with a paper and berating them which is crazy and when he did that hap when he had when that happens uh i don't know if it happens yet or um uh, i don't think it had happened yet in their current timeline but she was like what he did when he does that the stocks for the company start to um, plummet because it makes the company look bad that they have somebody like that in charge of it. And then it cuts to back to the reunion where Suman finally getting that ass chewed for lying for years. Um, and they ask her like, so where's your business card? They're like, um, Jiwon gave us her card and she's an assistant manager. So are you a contractor? You got your job on a referral? Do you know how many times we took you out to eat? Because you said you were going out for an interview? Yeah. So she's manip she manipulated those friends too, of course. She manipulated them more than just just than just lying about stuff Jiwon did. She was lying to them so they would give her food and stuff. Um, and she's like, oh, uh, no. Um, she, uh, Jiwon's just really good at her job. So she got promoted. They're like, how's she going to get promoted before you? If <laughs> They're like, if you're so good at your job like you say you are, why is she getting promoted before you? She's like, no, I'm I'm just a regular staff person. And they're like, okay, whatever. So what about the um uh Park uh Park Min Hwan? And she's like, Oh, I, I don't know what you guys uh, what you guys mean about that. I um I was just and they're like, you know what? Screw that. Why did you say that you dated in Ho? When he said you guys never dated. And she was like, none of this is my fault. Nobody told you guys to bully her. I told you guys to leave her alone. You guys decided to start bullying her. And they're like, you know what? The main bully. She's like, are you trying to, um, what did she say? Oh, she was like, are you trying to screw over Jiwon? She's like, nobody would do that unless they were a crazy bitch. And I was like, oh, the turntables. <laughs> it was, it felt so good. It did piss me off when she tried to yell at them, but it was hilarious when they're just like, girl, don't be mad. It took years for us to find out because Jiwon never stood up for herself and asked questions. 
but now we know you're crazy. <laughs> and she didn't have anything to say. She's like, I'm going to the bathroom. So she gets, stomps off and goes to the bathroom and she's like freaking out, chewing on her finger. She tried to call Jiwon and it went to voicemail. And while she's in there, um, she's blaming, I think she blamed Jiwon. She's like, why would she tell them all that stuff? <sighs> why? Why would she say that? Because it's the truth, bitch. The fuck? Why would she want people going around lying about her? Just because you want to make yourself feel better. Because you don't want to take the time to be a better person. And if you are jealous of her, use that jealousy to motivate yourself to be a better person. Like, I just don't get it. It cuts to Min Juan and his friend driving back um, from their campsite. And his friend... Uh, Min Juan's friend, they don't say his name, but Min Juan's friend is roasting him and telling him, you think it's okay for you to flirt with other girls and um, talk with other girls and do and basically cheat on your girlfriend? He is like, I think she's probably doing the same thing to you. And he was like, no, she would never do that. She wants not that kind of girl. And his friend's like, yeah okay he was like but what about you what about your girlfriend he was like my girlfriend's cool I mean she's kind of annoying but she loves me I can tell she calls me all the time like I'll leave after 15 minutes and she's already texting me telling me uh she misses me and um that she can't wait for me to get back we know Jiwon should be ignoring his ass <laughs> his friend's not totally wrong he is wrong on the part that she's cheating on him but he's right to the right on the part where she's indifferent to him. And then it cuts to um, Ji Hyuk and Ji Won driving back from the conference that they're at. And they're having a really meaningful conversation. Um, and the whole time that Ji Won's interacting with him uh, during this day, she's like, this has never happened. This never happened in previous in the past like, I've never talked to him this much. He never called me out to do anything on the weekend for work. Um, but they have a meaningful conversation and he tells her that she is a, she's a bad judge of character. And he was she she wholeheartedly agrees. She's like, I do, don't I? She was like, I thought I really I did really thought I was good at picking people with good character. Or do you think I'm a good person? <laughs> and she's like, yeah, I think you're a good person. He's like, well, you're not that wrong. <laughs> He's like, well, you're not that bad. She gets a call from Suman while she's in the car with him. And he's like, well, if you if you have other plans, I can drop you off there. And she's like, no, no, that's OK. And she ignores her call. And then she gets a text from Inho. And he told her that it was like really good to see her. And he hopes that they can catch up. And she's like smiling. Ji, Ji Hyuk notices, like, I'm I'm just gonna say it now. He was he was jelly. He was jelly when he seen oh boy hitting on her and saying he had a crush on her on the bridge. And he was jelly when he seen her smiling like that when she got that text from him. And Ji Hyuk's like when she tells him, yeah, she just got a text and it was from somebody at the reunion and it was her first love and he like he looked he did look totally jealous he's just like mm, okay he didn't have anything to say what he would have said probably would have made him look bad because <laughs> he would have sounded crazy i think you can't tell me he does not have feelings for her like from the beginning just how he looks at her what is it like uh what is it what do they call it he has like honey pouring out of his eyes or hearts like hard eyes every time he looks at her a heart spilling from his eyes um, and while they're driving while he's driving her back to her apartment he's like hey um g Wan," and she like looks over and <laughs> she's seen him walking towards her apartment like uh and she freaks out and she starts to lower the chair and you know luxury cars 
I don't I don't even know if it's just luxury cars anymore. But newer cars, they don't have that instant. If you hit the seat to go back, it just instantly goes back. The manual adjusting um, seat. So she's like trying to lean back and it's it's power operated. So she's like slowly, slowly going backwards. And Ji Hyuk is dying. Like he's laughing, like silently laughing. He was like, you can't. What are you looking at inside the car? And she's like, oh, nothing. It's it's fine. And um, she like pops up. She's like, oh, no, it's nothing. It's fine. And when they get to when they round the corner to her apartment, she sees Suman sitting at the stairs of the apartment complex and she flies backwards. She flies backwards and throws the coat over her face. And this is where he like, he was like, he silently giggling at her. And um, he keeps driving and they go to, they just go to park um, at a river and he gets her some coffee and they just sit there and they talk for a bit. This is second, this is the second time that they're trying to leave these two to do whatever they need to like, whatever spark flies for them to go interact with each other. And um, it cuts back to Finn Wan walking up to Jiwon's apartment and him seeing Su Min. And he's like, oh yeah, I can let you in the, the apartment. Cause if she's gonna be there, he's gonna leave. It doesn't say they've been together for a while. It doesn't, I don't know if they mentioned how long though. Cause they were married for 10 years, I think. But I don't know how long they dated. So he takes her up to her apart to Jiwon's apartment and tries to put in the code. It doesn't work. He was like, I thought it was the day we started dating. And he puts it in and it's not working. I think it's a year. I think they've been dating. I can't remember what the year was, but he said the month and the day. <laughs> and it's not working bitch because she don't want you in that shit she changed that code she is tired of you you is about to get broken up with uh, <laughs> but um he is like oh i don't know what's wrong with it and suman's like slumped on the wall while he's trying to open the door and she's like crying and she like slumps down just enough so that her sh and she leans forward where you can see down her shirt to see her cleavage and she starts crying very tactical move by her and uh suman takes off his jacket and puts it on her and covers her up and he's like well let me um take you get you back home then at least since she's not well take you out to get something to eat while we wait for her And Min Wan did notice, I'll say that much. He did notice the cleavage because he looked. And that's why he whipped his jacket off so quick and covered her up. <clears throat> slowly, slowly, but surely these two, I don't know when, maybe this coming week, these two about to, they're going to sleep together. I'm, I'm, I'm a need for them to get together. Okay, so they can get out of the way. <laughs> but um, while Jiwon and Ji Hyuk are sitting, like drinking their coffee and passing time, waiting for those two idiots, while they're waiting for uh, Tweedle D and Tweedle Dum to leave her apartment because they're not going to be able to get in. Uh, Jiwon is telling Ji Hyuk like all the things that she wants to do like um, she tells him about her meal kit plan and he tells her that it sounds like a good idea and she should submit it or show it to him which is crazy because first it has to get by crappy boss first and then get sent to him and she's like oh no that's okay he's like no sub uh, submit it to me as soon as you can and uh, she's like okay and then she's like, I want to learn interior design and I want to learn uh, self-defense. And he was like, oh, 
self-defense, I can help you with that. And he rattles off like all the different martial arts that he knows. And she just looks at him and she starts laughing. And he was like, what? Is that funny? To you? She's like, yeah, I just, I just don't see you as that kind of guy. And he was like, oh, what? And he takes his glasses off to like clean them off. And she's like, you look really nice without your glasses on. And he like smirks and he just like puts them back on. Or no, he takes them off for a, a minute and he just looks at her. And um, then he puts them back on. But it was, it was so cute when she was laughing at him. You could tell he was kind of like embarrassed. <clears throat> After they finish their coffee, he drops her off at home. And he says the most, I think it's her smile, her, her smile got him. And that's why he was, he, he gets out the car too. And he's like, do you want me to walk you up? And she's like, huh? <laughs> Cause she's like, this is a work thing. You don't have to walk me up. We're not on a date. And he was like, huh, I'm, <laughs> and he just laughed and he was like, and then he just start rattling off the most random things. He was like, I think we should date a lot of people before we settle down and uh what else did he say and she was like oh i never seen you as that kind of person and he's like yeah i didn't used to be but now i am and she's like mm, oh okay and then he's like you don't have to get married and she was like oh do you do you not want to get married and he was like no no i want to get married and then she just kind of looks at him and he looks at her and then he just laughs and they both start laughing. And she's, he was just like, and, uh, she tells him again, she's like, you look really, you look really, um, you look really good when you smile. And he gets all like shy and stuff and they like they finally say goodnight because he was like he's just like flow so flustered he didn't know what to say i am like why are you saying all these things <laughs> just let her go in you already look kind of stupid now <laughs> and when jiwan goes back up to her apartment she sees that um yon he or he yon i keep saying her name wrong i keep switching her name he yon found um left a little presentation for her to redecorate her apartment and she's like well i think you might need a uh i think you might need a new place and jiwan that kind of triggers jiwan she's like you know what i think i do she's like i should get a new place i mean she's got the money now all those debts are paid off she don't got an anchor um around her uh wrist or her she doesn't have an anchor on her ankle holding her down with all the debts and stuff for paying for her ex. Well, it's not her ex. <laughs> He's her ex in my mind already. With Suman calls her again while um, she's out with Min Hwan and Suman ignores, or Jiwon ignores it. And then she starts texting Jiwon saying, I don't know what they were talking about. And Jiwon just says, this isn't something that should be done through text. We need to talk face to face. And then Min Wan calls and she answers. And it's Suman on his phone and she immediately hangs up. She laughs. She hangs up and then she laughs like this girl. And then she gets another phone call. She gets another phone call. It's not saved in her phone, though. is Beck Inho, her first love. And she answers, and you know how you gotta do that cute voice with when you're when somebody you're kinda, you might be interested in calls. She's like, 
hello they're just saying like this is the first time that they've actually talked on the phone and she was like she's surprised that he wanted her number after what he said to her when they did that flashback at the beginning of the last episode don't ever talk to me again and he walks away there's a flashback again of them in the past and it shows the part of him again saying i don't ever want to talk to you again and storms off and when they pre showed it previously they should just show jiwan being confused like i don't why would he say that to me and suman goes well um he uh i told him that you said you liked him and she was like Oh, and that's, she was like, oh, that's how he feels about me liking him is when he said, don't ever talk to me again and storms off. So she's just like, oh, he must not think she's attractive at all or like her at any, any way. And he was like, what? Well, she didn't tell him that, but he was like, I, you wrote me a letter and, um, I, he's like, I wrote you a letter and I got your reply back. And I was just, I was kind of hurt. And she was like, I wrote you a letter. You wrote me a letter and I replied back. And he's like, yeah. He's like, even, I even still have it. And she was like, you do? She's like, can you bring that letter and can we meet up sometime? And he's like, sure. And shit's about to... Suman is about to be swimming in her own pool of lies. Because I was going to say bed. Her, the lies that she's been telling, it's like a Olympic pool at this point. And Jiwon being a trusting, sweet friend, just never thought her friend was like this in her previous life. And it's kind of hurtful because you don't think people that say they're your friend would do stuff like this. But unfortunately, stuff like this happens quite often. Now we know because we have the internet and other people sharing their stories and stuff. But um, it cuts to that Monday. Suman is freaking out, chewing on her nails again. It's a bad habit. Waiting for um, Jiwon to show up. And she's like, why aren't she here yet? She's usually always here by now. Our girl likes to make an entrance now. And she's taking her time getting ready. She shows up to work. And some beautiful... I don't know who these heels are by or who made these heels. But her heels are beautiful. Fantastic. Fabulous. And she's walking into work as her new self. She's a changed woman, okay? She walks into work. Heads are turning left and right. But I love the confidence she had when she walked in. And everybody's just like, oh. wow. Everybody's like complimenting her. Duran, that older co-worker. She's like, oh, you look so beautiful. Um, you look great. And she's like, thank you. And she's like running over to her uh, seat. And Minwan, he I don't know where he, I think he came out of the break room, but he's seen her. He pushed Suman out of the way just to get to her. And uh, he was like, wow, honey, you look beautiful. And he's like trying to touch her face. And she's like, Rrr. I don't blame her. Like, don't touch me. Um, and uh, Ji Hyuk comes in and he sees her smiling and it took him out. Okay. He's seen it and he ran into a table and knocked all these um, meals on the floor and everybody's looking at him. Then he went to go walk. After he does that, he went to go walk somewhere else and ran into somebody and they dropped all their papers on the ground. <laughs> but I will say that when he bumped into the table and all the meals fell on the floor, Suman tried to run over and be cute. She's like, oh, I'll get it. I'll pick it up for you. He's like, yeah, yeah. 
totally ignored her. And um, he comes over, Ji Hyuk goes over to Jiwon and he was like, is that appropriate to wear to work? I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you? <sighs> My boy. What? 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 Why would you say that? And um, he yawn jumps up and she's like, um, that's perfectly fine to wear to work. Why are you criticizing her? And the way she says it with her face, she's like, what the fuck are you doing? And he's like, oh, it must be because I haven't seen her without her glasses. And she was like, she wants like, no, you seen me yesterday. And Min Wan's like, what? Yesterday? You didn't even hang out with me yesterday. Why are you with him? Is the face that he gave. And then he's like, oh, I mean, it's my first time seeing you without your glasses at work. And he's, she's like, oh. She's like, well, you didn't wear, and you didn't wear your glasses today either. And everybody looks at him and they're like, oh, you haven't. And Juron's like, oh, Mr. Kang, or Mr. Kang, Mr. Yu, you look, you look really nice. And Suman tries to run up and say, oh, you look, he was like, he put his hand up, like, stop talking. And he went to his office. Um, and then it cuts to Min Wan going up for a smoke break. And all of his co-workers are giving him high fives. Because, um... Because of Jiwon's glow up and how good she looks and how everybody's talking about her and saying that they're jealous of him. And he's like, oh, well, I'll tell you a secret. She's always been pretty. One of the female co-workers is like, you might want to make sure that you take care of her um, before somebody else tries to steal your girl. And he's like, that's not going to happen. Jiwon's not that type of girl. Oh, but after that girl says that to him, he meets up with her in like a little seating area at work and he has two coffees and he got one for her. And he's just, he gave her the coffee and he's giving her all these compliments, telling her how pretty she is. And he was like, I think uh, Ji Hyuk likes you. She was like, that's why he was acting like that today when he ran into all that stuff. He's like, he's seen you and he went crazy. So, um, <laughs> be careful. And because they met up after hours, I think that was the other part. So he's kind of scared. She's going to leave him. So even before he cheated with Suman, he was doing fucked up shit so I feel like I think he just doesn't want her to leave him period unless he's the one who does it but it's I don't that's the other thing I'm saying like that's wrong with him why if you want to date or see other people can't she break up with you you think you can have your cake and eat it too but somebody can't do it to you. Because if you remember in the first episode, she tried to break up with him and he almost beat her up. But in this, now it seems like he actually is starting to express that he like likes her again or has feelings for her um, like he used to. So I'm not sure. Um, but while he's giving her all these compliments he tries to kiss her and she takes the coffee that he gave her and she knocks it into his pants so he has to go to the bathroom and while he's rushing out he passes Suman and Suman is on her way to talk to Jiwon about what happened at the reunion because she called her out she got called out on her all her shit Suman's like you don't believe anything they're saying right why would I do something like, like that to my um, best friend? You're my other half. Lies, 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 more lies spilling out of her mouth. Jiwon's like, I know, 
I don't, I, why would I think that you would do that to me? I can't believe them. Why would my friend want to make me look like a bad person? Unless they were crazy. Jiwon now knows she's crazy too while she's saying this. So it's funny seeing her like, huh? Yeah. Trying to act normal. But, um, but she also tells, uh, Suman, she's like, yeah, I even got Inho's number and we're going to meet up. Because he said he has a letter that I wrote to him from high school. And Suman, you can tell like by her eyes, she's like freaking out. She's like, oh, don't you think Min Wan wouldn't, wouldn't feel good about that? And Ji Won's like, no, he's fine with it. He wants me to be happy. His stocks are doing really well. And he's even telling me to look for a newlywed apartment. You know, just throwing them seeds out there for uh, Suman to pick up. <clears throat> so she can get with her, get with him, and they can be miserable together. And Suman's like, oh, really? Like, ignoring all the stuff she said about her finding out she's going to be a liar. She's like, oh, his stocks are doing well? How, how, um, how good for you? You know, she, she doesn't enjoy Jiwon having anything nice in her life, unfortunately. And while everybody's lined up at the elevators in the next scene, um, Suman comes up to Jiwon and she's like, calls her by her name. And if you remember earlier in the episode, she told her, if we're at work, be professional. Don't call me by my name. So when she does, everybody that's by the elevator looks at Suman like she has five heads. And Jiwon pays her no ignit and no attention. Her head doesn't even move. And after she says Miss Kang, she's like, oh, yeah, what's up? And um, she asks her if she wants to hang out after work um, to go get something to eat. And Jiwon's like, oh, no, I can't. I have a business meeting. Duran's like, oh no, I have to go pick up my baby. And uh, uh, he yawned, she raised her hand to say that she would. And right when she did, Suman's like, oh, okay, I guess nobody wants to do anything. <laughs> and he yawned when she put her hand down, she put it in a fist. And I was like, I know you want to punch her, girl. I wish you could, but you go to jail. <laughs> Everybody crowds into the elevator when it comes, and right when the door's about to close, uh, Ji Hyuk puts his hand in to stop it, and he was gonna just wait for the next one until he seen Ji Won standing at the back of the elevator, and then he uh, opens it back up, makes a spot for herself, and while they're on the elevator, Ji Won tells Ji Won that she looks really great and that hairstyle really suits her, and that everybody in the office was talking about how great she looks. And then somebody pipes in, or no, and that everybody's saying that they're jealous of Min Wan. And you can see um, they focus the camera on Suman, and she's like staring at uh, Ji Wan. After the elevator stops and everybody gets out, Ji Hyuk um, stands over to the side while everybody leaves. And when Ji Wan comes out, he calls her name. And you, again, you guys, this dude is smitten. I'm, I love it. And he was like, what did he say? <laughs> again, you know, you guys, I told y'all he, he does not know his words just don't come out correctly. They come out wrong. And he sounds like he's accusing her again. And he's like, why are you dressed like that? And she's like, why do I look strange? And he's, he says, no, you don't. And never, and he says, never mind. He's like, well, I wore my, when she starts to walk off, he's like, well, I wore contacts because you mentioned it. And he's like, is that why you dressed up today? Because of someone, like did someone say she should dress up? And she was like, no. <clears throat> it's because I wanted to. It makes me feel good and people treat me differently. And he was like, is that the 
is that how you want people to respect you? And she was like, no. I, he's like, no, but if I want to live differently, unfortunately, this is a part of it. And I actually really enjoy it as well. And when he heard her say that it wasn't really for anybody else's validation other than her own, he like smiled and he was like really genuinely happy. And again, you know, you know what she's going to say. She said, you look so different when you smile. You look really good. She's like, I hope to see it more often. And then she tells him, maybe you should change up. She's like, I'm not an expert. Because, you know, she just had her own makeup. She was like, but maybe you should try it too. Like change a style. That's why I mentioned, um, I think the men's fashion is going to go up next uh, next week or this coming week. And then Jiwon's like, well, I got to go because I have a meeting. And he's like, okay, bye. They didn't see all that. But then it cuts to Jiwon um, leaving, her, leaving her meeting and she's at the uh, goes to the bus stop and while she's there she hears he on like excited about something that she had purchased from one of the nearby stores and when she goes to say hi to her she sees ji hyuk uh come out like right after her and he's like trying to cover her mouth and tell her to be quiet and calm down at home she remembers from her previous life that he uh he yon got transferred to a different department because their um shitty boss said that she was too close to ji hyuk after the transfer why she got transferred they never said why she just got transferred when jiwon was at the bus station she was thinking about uh ji hyuk and like all of his interactions and she was kind she like found it endure endearing and cute and she was thinking about what Min Hwan said, saying that he likes her. And she was like, what? He's dating somebody. You're stupid, Min Hwan, basically, is what she said. Um, he, Yeon, and Ji Hyuk are dating. That's why. That's the only reason why she kept running into him. And, they're, and her, those two are friends now. And after that scene where... And Jiwon's like, whatever, they're dating. It switches to he Yeon, and she's talking to the old dude, the same old dude that Ji Hyuk was talking to. Yeah. Um, and she's telling him about how Ji Hyuk was at the at the store saying that he's the um grandson of somebody so that she could get the item that she wanted. And she's like, it was so cool. She's like, you know, he never wants to brag about anything, but it was nice that he actually did that for me. And the grandpa's looking at him like, oh, okay. <clears throat> and when they're leaving, it seems like he, Yeon, is like besties with this old dude. Well, they're uh, Ji Hyuk's grandpa. And he tells, when she asks Ji Hyuk for a ride home, he's like, it's in the opposite direction. Um, most people don't say that to their girlfriend. They'll just give them a ride because they want to spend time with them. So I'm like, I don't think that's his girlfriend. And she seems like super close to the grandpa. Like, closer than uh Ji Hyuk and I'm like mm. either she's like a really try hard or they're they're related like cousins or something because we know Ji Hyuk is in love with um Ji Won there's no way and then grandpa and after they leave he asks the same guy if he started to look into her and he said, yeah. So I think they kind of figured out it's Ju, uh, Ji Won, but we don't know how much they know yet. And then it switches to Ji Hyuk practicing martial arts. Like he was saying, he told Ji Won, like, he's like, I know all these martial arts. I can help you if you want to learn. 
He was trying to find a way so he can hang out with her more. <laughs> but he was practicing with his friend, uh, the guy that did the chicken delivery. And he's beating this poor dude up. And at the after the end of it, he was like, judo would probably be the best thing for a woman to learn, right? And his friend's like, is this what this was for? Is this what this beating was for? <clears throat> for you to practice, which would be easiest for a woman? Right. And I heard that's true. Judo is usually better for women because it teaches you how to manipulate somebody who weighs more than you, which is usually the case when you're against a male opponent. But anyways, after that part, it cuts to... Um, Ji Hyuk taking a shower and he's like drying his hair off and he dries off his chest and there's a blue heart there the same one that was on the ten thousand dollar wand that Ji Won would be given to um would be given from her dad for her allowance and was on the one that she got from the taxi driver they're starting to slowly come together after that part he's like making himself something to drink and he's talking to his cat and he was like this is so hard he was like i just want to say hey your boyfriend and your best friend are evil they're gonna try and kill you you need to stay away from them and he's like okay but i can't say that because i'd sound like a lunatic and i'm like yeah you're right you would sound crazy <clears throat> but we would know she would believe you because she's also from the future i just want to say his apartment the skyline and then his lights reflecting on the uh window looks really good that whole scene looked really nice and then after it says that it cuts to another flashback ji hyuk and he's at jiwon's funeral and right after he gets done doing his like ceremonial bow to men uh men juan the police come in and arrest him he tries to escape it doesn't work and they go to arrest suman who's at the table sitting with the girls who were bullying uh jiwan and they're telling him they're like telling him why he's getting arrested for the um suspicious murder of jiwan and this fool is yelling it wasn't it was an accident. What did he say? It was culpable homicide. Let's see. Culpable hom. What is culpable homicide? But he was ready with that excuse. In some jurisdictions, including Scotland, South Africa, and Indian, an unlawful act that results in a person's death, but is held not to amount to murder. She hit her head on the table and bled out. That's murder. Ji Hyuk sees all of this and he's flabbergasted that because he worked with Ji Won, of course. So he sees, he's seen how her life was and how those were the only two people that she ever interacted with. And they were the ones that ended up resulting in her death. Uh, Suman got arrested as a accessory to the murder. Um, and then after they both get carted off, the two girls or all the girls that were that bullied Ji Yuan earlier. Um, or no, in the previous episode at the reunion and bullied her in high school. They're all sitting at the table and they were like, oh, no, I feel terrible. I used to bully her. Um, and then they were like, I feel bad about what we did at the reunion when we ganged up on her saying that she stole or she tried to steal um, Suman's boyfriend when it was actually her it was um, at the time of the no, they were just dating. So when actually it was. Jiwon that was dating him and all this other stuff all of Suman's lies finally got exposed but it was after Jiwon had already died in that timeline and they were saying oh do you think that Jiwon even said anything to Suman about her dating Eun Ho 
And Eun Ho comes into the funeral at that time and he's like, what, what about me? And they're like, come over here. Some crazy stuff just happened. And they told him and they're like telling him what happened. And they're talking about what happened at the reunion and how they yelled at uh, Ji Won because he dated Suman and Ji Won told them to break up. And he's like, we never dated. Me and Suman never dated. And that's how we found out that <clears throat> Ji Hyuk knew all of that stuff. How he went to go find Unho so he would show up at that reunion in this timeline to fix that whole um, lie that started, that Suman started in high school. Because as soon as she died, he said he. In that timeline, he said he regretted everything. And on while he's on his way back from the funeral, a cat darts in the road and he swerves. And he gets into a car accident. And then he goes 10 years in the past with the blue heart. And that's how the episode ends. Amazing. Um, but yeah, like um, like I said, these two episodes were really good. And seeing Suman get jealous of Ji Wan because of her glow up and everybody paying attention to her, um, because her intentional sabotage up until that point is no longer valid, <laughs> was fantastic. What else was good? Finding out about Ji Hyuk. Um, coming back, that was really good, though it's different. In the webtoon, it's darker. It's darker in the webtoon because after that happened, he took a taxi, a river or a beach or an uh, um, um, ocean. I'm not sure the beach is on an ocean, but whatever. And the taxi driver to that location was Jiwon's dad and in the um, webtoon he was like I think I can't remember for sh what he said word for word but basically he was like would you have protected her and he said yes I would have protected her with my life her dad's like okay that's all I need to know it's like he knew what he was going to go do, but um, Ji Hyuk walks into the ocean and unalives himself. And that in the comic, that's how he woke up in the past. And this one, he it was because of a car accident. I don't know if because they didn't want it to be too dark. Why they changed it? Maybe it won't make it makes him less creepy. That part was different from the webtoon. And I thought something felt different when I seen that. Because I'm like, oh, here they go. They're doing a damn another tragic car accident. If anybody's seen the perfect marriage revenge, that's what happened in that. When they go back in the past. And I was hoping I wouldn't see that in this because... There was no car accidents like that in uh, Marry My Husband in the webtoon. But they have one now. And I was like, okay. So there's, those are the only two things that I have so far that I don't like that they've changed. Um, the thing with the grandpa seeming like he's trying to force him to get married, which is very cliche. And then the part with the car accident which is also cliche with dramas. And I was like, okay, we'll see. <laughs> it's still good. Don't get me wrong. It's still good. What I, what I want to see next week, I want to see uh, Min Hwan hook up. So it gives Ji Won an excuse to break up with them. Uh, him. And stop talking to her. So yeah, break up with them. I want to see... Jiwon get confirmation 
um, from this letter because I'm pretty sure Suman probably wrote it. I just want to know what she said because he was real upset. He was mad at her. And um, I want to see if the grandpa is gonna do I hope he doesn't I hope he doesn't but I want to see if the grandpa does the whole uh cliche take this money and leave my grandson alone thing but she doesn't even know he likes her so how would that be possible I want to see Ji Hyuk get a glow up he's already lost the glasses and I think I might have been too harsh because he still looked he still looks good with the glasses he still looks good don't get me wrong but he looks fantastic without them um and since jiwon mentioned it and he seems to listen to everything she says which we love people that listen i think he's gonna listen to jiwon and i think that's why he was out with uh, He Yeon because I think he, I think she was the one who who's gonna give him a makeover because she seems to be the, she's like the um, fairy godmother of fashion, from what it looks like. So we'll see. If you like the video, um, oh wait, I didn't even ask you guys if you like. <laughs> if you watched episode four, what was your favorite part? What did you not like? Um, have you read the webtoon yet? Did you watch, um, the YouTube channel where she reads the webtoon to you? Do you like the changes they made in the drama for the show? Why or why not? Let me know. I would love to discuss. And if you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <clears throat>